Happy day, Hop fans. Let's get right to it and jump into today's deep thoughts. So people are always saying, when pigs fly, oh, I'll believe that when pigs fly, when pigs fly, why are we putting that thought out into the universe? Have we thought about what an inconvenience that would be for everybody? I mean, umbrella makers would become the new electric car companies, essentially. You know, take the fright out of pigs in flight with the Dung Destroyer 2000, now in pink and aquamarine. Good for them. And they're due. I mean, umbrellas have had almost no innovation since their creation. Yeah, it stops the rain. Uh, what else? What else do want to do? That's it. We're done, right? Um, everyone else, though, really, really smelly world. And bacon would probably become much more expensive. Would we hunt pigs in airplanes? Would there be pig farms in the sky? Maybe blinks, blimps would make a comeback. I don't think we're ready for blimps again. I feel like there are more lessons taught than learned from the last try with blimps. Am I alone in this? Hey everyone, I'm Harrison, here watching Hop Takes, presented by Hop Culture. First up, let's get to the question of the week. So I'm going to get personal right up in your TikToks and your bucket hats. What is your desert island beer? So let's say you were on a flying pig expedition, your hog copter crashed on a desert island. What are you hoping you overpacked with? For me, it's Either Sierra Nevada's Pale Ale, because it's beer and easy to drink any day, multiple days in a row, or maybe a Miller Highlight, because they have the perfect bottles for messages. I'm not sure what I'd be writing them on. Maybe coconut skins? I'll have plenty of time to figure that out, though. What's your Desert Island beer? Tell me in the comments. I want to know. We're going to find the perfect one together. All right, let's jump right into the news and see what's hop off the press. The Beginner's Guide to Hop Blends, how BSG Hops is changing the entire hop game. Recently, Grace White's head of partnerships at Hop Culture sat down with Eric Sunderland, uh, the hop brand manager for Brewer Supply Group, or BSG, um, to talk about hop blends. So I used to work with BSG a ton when I was a brewer. Big reason why I enjoy a Pearson Salt and Nut Roller, even know what those are, and they're awesome. But Grace and Eric talk about hop blends um, kind of used to be seen as like a grab bag of kind of bottom of the rung hops that brewers could get on the cheap, but maybe not really the most exciting thing. But now they've kind of taken on a really, you know, different new life and are exciting. Uh, finally, thanks to a more curated approach to these hop blends, uh, thanks to BSG. So uh, the approach is drawing tons more attention to hop blends, what you can do with them, how they can be used. Chances are there's a beer with a hop blend in it coming to you soon. Actually, if you have one, let me know in the comments if you guys have enjoyed some beer with hop blends in it. And check out Grace's article so you know what the heck HS Sativa is next time you see it printed on the side of your IPA. All right, in the can. I know I didn't, I, I said Sativa. So calm down over there. Check it out, the uh, link's below. We also took some time to highlight 15 great queer letter, queer supporting breweries. There's a new article that dropped yesterday about that, highlighting some of these, these awesome breweries all over the, the country, uh, actually all over the world, leading up to Queer Beer Fest. If you haven't got your tickets yet, still a little bit of time, but they're moving fast. Remember, we're shipping them out soon, so make sure to get you guys in time, so grab them if you haven't yet. Some of the breweries we talk more about, first up, Bowen Arrow Brewing out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. There goes well with queso, hazy IPA. Have me a queso. Um, they're doing some killer stuff. Lady Justice Brewing in Aurora, Colorado, whose mission statement says they dedicate time, space, and money to nonprofits and community partners that support and empower women and girls in the state of Colorado. That means every beer you enjoy is changing a life. And with a beer like Lady Hose in their Marzen, it's easy to change many lives in a single evening. That thing is a hilarious name. I will never stop laughing at it, brilliant stuff. And Red Bear Brewing, a DC, encourage everybody to be different, embrace the spirit of the unicorn. If you don't know what a unicorn spirit looks like, just drink a few of their aged cherry sour Manhattan projects, and you'll be seeing all kinds of things. That's a mythological creature, beer, and history joke, all in one, a rare threefer for me. Good job, Harrison. But check out the article below for all the breweries we covered and learn what makes them all so fantastic. Finally, let's finish with a this or that. And let's not goof around this week. Popsicles or ice cream? Pick your sides, get out your weapons, prepare to defend yourself. Popsicle or ice cream sandwiches, excuse me, ice cream sandwiches. So ice cream sandwiches or popsicles. Uh, I'm going with ice cream sandwich. 
So yes, they're gonna melt and fall apart onto my shoe about three bites in, but I don't know where else I can find that chocolatey, kind of flaky, soft, but also hard bread. I guess that they, they surround the vanilla ice cream with. It's so good and unique, kind of spongy, but not. And if I have to buy new shoes each time I get one, whatever, who needs shoes? Shoes are the most overrated piece of clothing. Bonus hop take. Okay, guys, that's it for this week's hop takes. Thanks for listening. You can follow me at Harry Beer Beard everywhere, Hop Culture Mag everywhere too. We've got a lot more stuff coming. Until next week, peace, punch, and Captain Crunch. I'm out of here.